Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Bark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some really cool extensions that will really kind of supercharge your productivity when using Google Chrome or Brave. Now, if you want to go to brave.com slash tom352, you could download Brave and start using it for free and I'll make uh, some cryptocurrency. Additionally, if you use Brave, you can watch ads on the platform that protect your privacy but still can serve you ads and by keeping the ads on, you'll earn cryptocurrency or you can just turn ads off and that's one of the benefits of Brave is that it prevents kind of ad tracking and all these kind of things that are just kind of integrated within Chrome. So Brave is better for privacy but it works the same as Chrome and that you can use all the extensions in this list and it's pretty same in terms of functionality and speeds and overall ease of use. Anyways guys, let's get into this great list of some really cool extensions that you might not have heard of before. All right, guys, this is one of my personal favorites. Basically, what it does is it makes Reddit look like old Reddit. Now, you might not be familiar with old Reddit, but basically, it's just the way that Reddit used to look before they redesigned it to look more like Instagram. A lot of people prefer this old Reddit interface, me included. There's 69,000 people using this add-on, and you don't necessarily need this add-on. You could go into like your settings of your Reddit account and uh, turn on that you prefer the old Reddit, but honestly, this just works better. And if you have multiple Reddit accounts, you want to do it for every one, this will force Reddit to look like old Reddit, which in my opinion is the better Reddit. So this is what it looks like. I prefer this kind of style because you get more information quicker and it's just kind of my preference, but you might have a different preference. Maybe you like the new Reddit, maybe you like the old Reddit. If not, this is something to really check out. Just look up old Reddit redirect and add it and it's gonna work automatically. All right guys, this is a really cool plugin if you're at work or somewhere where you kind of wanted to make it seem like you're just browsing more like text and not actually websites with interesting images and stuff like that. So basically what you're going to do is install this extension, go to a website like this, just simply click on the little icon and it's going to make it look like this. So as you can see, it's going to remove these images and make it seem like you're just like doing work, I guess. You could use it even something like on Reddit. Someone walks by and they see you looking at something like this, they might not get mad at you. Or if they see you looking at something like this, they might. Just kind of a funny little add-on and it could help you productivity i guess if you don't like seeing images or you just want to seem like you're more productive i guess at work so guys writer is one of the coolest kind of writing extensions uh basically what you're going to do is add it to your browser and then it's kind of just going to add it as an app like this so you could just kind of click on it and go and register and the cool thing about it it has like storage cloud storage on it and it's just really distraction free. Um, it, of course you have like the pro and free model and there's are a little bit of differences here, but it's perfectly usable as free. Um, it's kind of like a good alternative to Google uh, Drive and those kind of Google Docs and stuff like that. I really like this and actually worked on it quite a bit. Um, just, you know, typing stuff on here. So it's a really cool um, little application. The cool things are you could even have like little sound effects when you're typing. Um, which is pretty fun and makes you feel like you're on a typewriter. So this is sort of what it looks like when you're typing. So pretty cool. Now Zyport is a pretty cool kind of collaborative productivity tool. Basically what you're going to do is add it to your browser and then it's going to kind of load up this website. So this website does kind of require you to create an account, but it's free um, to get use of most of its features, but it's actually a pretty cool application. Um, so basically what you can do is kind of type here. Um, you can even do stuff like sticky notes, um, add a little sticky. Um, you could write in it just by clicking this, edit sticky. So it's kind of like a cool little collaborative thing. You can invite people. Of course, you have to log into it to invite them. But it's a pretty cool tool for kind of productivity and collaboration. You could just have this kind of open up in a tab. Um, come back to it, you know, save it here. It'll be here when you left it. Pretty cool productivity tool for sure. Now, there are a couple of tools like this out there that kind of consolidate your tabs, but my favorite one is OneTab, mostly because it's really simple. Basically, what you can do with this application, uh, you'll install it like normal, and then you just click this button up here, and it's going to consolidate all the tabs into a list. Then if you want them back, you could just restore all. So as you could see up there, it really did put them into one little tab. So you will you could have like 10 tabs up here, um, each one with their own things. You could save memory because these aren't kind of loading or being loaded in the background. You know how Chrome and Brave does it. Um, of course, you can use um, something like uh, Great Suspender to do that. But this one also kind of has some of the similar features and you could kind of 
do it like this as well. Overall, pretty cool application slash extension to consolidate tabs, save resources, and feel more organized. Next up on the list, as you can see, is an app slash extension called WebTime Tracker. What this thing can do is basically track how productive you're being, how much time you spent on certain websites. It's pretty cool. Now, can I guarantee that it's um, super good in terms of privacy? Well, you can check out the privacy policy if you want, see what kind of data they collect. It says, website tracker does not collect or store any personal information, no data are transmitted anywhere ever. So it looks like the privacy policy is actually pretty solid. So if you want something to kind of track the time you're spending on various websites, this could be a pretty cool tool to use. And I'm actually gonna use it and see what kind of, you know, what kind of stuff that it will track me doing. Um, you can even see some stats and stuff like that. So overall, a pretty cool productivity slash monitoring time tool. Another really cool add-on is Volume Master. Now, if you've ever been on YouTube and find that maybe a YouTuber has something too quiet, what this add-on will let you do is raise the volume uh, way more than normal. So the way Windows works is that each application kind of has its own volume level that you could go into and customize, uh, but it's a little bit tricky to do that, going down into like the volume mixer and stuff like that. So you can specifically do it here, which is cool and very useful for specific videos. It says up to 600% volume boost, and you can control the volume of any tab as well, which is pretty cool. So when you have some kind of Twitch thing going on in the background, you want to keep listening a little bit, you can turn the volume down there and kind of have a main video with more volume if you want. And it gives you a lot of kind of control to your volume with YouTube videos. Next up and last up on the list is going to be images. Basically what this is going to do is make it so when you hover over any picture, it's going to make it bigger. So on Reddit, this is extremely useful. I'm going to show you how it works right here. Just going to add it to the thing right there. Let's go ahead and go to Reddit. You can see we have added and then as you hover over something, it's going to show it right there. Um, there are some other add-ons out there kind of similar, like hover zoom and a couple other ones, but be careful about those, but be careful about those because um, those ones, uh, some of them are not very good, um, a lot of them actually, so I would check out images, I think it's a little bit better than hover zoom and some of the other ones that have been removed by Google for mismanaging user privacy. These ones are pretty good to use though. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Thomas Spark, and catch me again on the next video coming up very soon. Let me know down in the comments down below which extensions you like for productivity or just in general use that I haven't mentioned. If you want to, there's other videos I've covered about extensions as well, and I encourage you to check those out. I'll put the links down in the description down below.